in Tunisia, in Egypt, now in Libya, in Oman, in Yemen. Uh, I was just reading from my J Street, people in Israel, the youth in Israel are saying, well, you know, we should do something too. There, we, there is a desire. This, this revolution that we're seeing today is a moderate, not extremist. It is multi-religious. The image in the streets of Tahrir Square of a person holding the Quran and another person next to him holding the Coptic cross. Uh, Egyptian Copts, which are the Christians, you know, protecting the Muslims while they're performing their prayer from the att potential attacks of the, secret, of the secret police. It was about freedom. It was about the youth saying, you know what? Enough already. We know how we want to live. We see this happening today in Libya, in Egypt, which is a profound statement. And there's no doubt in my mind that America and how America and how American, the concept of we the people, when we read the Declaration of Independence, we, I forget now where we the people is said, but this concept of we the people taking, a, a, exerting our power, that we the people are the ones that government has to serve. The idea that of Abraham Lincoln, government of the people, by the people, for the people, but of, for the people rather, the point I want to emphasize, that government is for the people, not for the leaders. The attitude of the Mubarak regime and many of these authoritarian regimes is that all the assets of the land, including the population, belong to the leaders. They own everything, the oil, the, the, the land, the development decisions, everything belongs to them and a thin coterie of people. And the people are there to serve them. The whole idea of democracy, there are many concepts contained within the, the concept of democracy as we think of it in the United States. The, the fundamental point is that it is the people who own everything. And government is there to serve them, not the other way around. And this is the, the message of the American Revolution. The American Revolution has had a profound impact upon the nature of government and the relationship between government and the governed all over the world. The French Revolution happened right after it. The, it, it, it impacted the way you know, the Brits saw the handwriting on the wall and decided to change their form of rule and, 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 and basically uh, shared power, creating a bicameral government between the House of Laws and the House of Commons, uh, which is probably what the Saudis need to do. Um, but this concept is, is important, and it's, it's the experience of America. And it is the, 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 uh, the awareness of how this thing is done, because people in Libya, when you watch the news, and you hear, heard you know, who were being interviewed on CNN or BBC or whatever, they're all speaking American English. They sound like they're Americans. You listen to... to these young people talking, or maybe not so young people, the younger they are, the more their accent is American, with a rare British accent. And of course, the thick Arab accent, the older they are. The point I'm trying to make is that we Americans don't really appreciate the extent to which the example of how we live is watched by everybody. People say, you know what, I like that, I want that. So it's a nonviolent revolution. We the people are taking control. And I think this concept is going to have a profound influence. It has, I mean, we're, I'm reading about the Chinese are being nervous of a Jasmine revolution occurring in China because of what happened in Tunisia and in Egypt. I was reading, as I said, after my J Street conference, uh, an article in Haaretz about, you know, there's a revolution going on in Israel right now as well, or a desire for. It's not a revolution in the sense of a change of power, change of regime. Rather, a change of the existential worldview of how society is composed and what it should be all about. So what we are seeing today is, 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 is to me, deeply profound, will have huge ramifications and positive ones. The ri ride will be bumpy, no doubt. 
but in the age of immediate communication by Twitter, Facebook, Internet, etc., um, there is a, um, a greater sense that I have that, the, that this mass, this growing mass of, of your, your generation will, will uh, create the, um, a kind of a center of gravity and a momentum that will basically move towards a kind of multi multiculturalism. And I think this evolution, to use your words, will go all the way. <laughs>